If AI can code faster, cheaper, and better than junior devs, then why exactly are we still learning to code in 2025? See, AI tools like Copilot and Windsurf are pretty much everywhere. Even the new iPhones have built-in AI. Meanwhile, in regards to junior dev roles, we've only seen 71,000 open up in the last year. See, that's a huge mismatch and one that you probably shouldn't be ignoring despite everything that senior devs are telling you. Whether you're in college right now having an existential crisis while getting your computer science degree, a junior dev in the market, or someone that's just simply interested in programming, then here's exactly what you need to know before you waste what can potentially be years of your life trying to learn a skill that is no longer useful. Because let's be completely honest right now, if you're not adapting, then you might just be left behind. But before we begin, my name is Laz. I graduated just two years ago in the middle of one of the worst job markets in recent history, especially for developers. And still, I managed to land a role at one of the most competitive aeronautical companies out there. And just recently, after two years of being there, I left that role and managed to get another engineering job at one of the big four accounting firms. Now, I want you to know that I'm not some career coach trying to sell you dreams. I'm saying that to let you know that I've been exactly where you are. I've been in the same shoes as you. And I know just how brutal the job market is, but at the same time, I also know exactly what it takes to get hired in 2025. So let's get started with the clip that we've all seen and heard by now. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang basically declaring that coding is dead. Everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It's our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. Now, before you start panicking, we need to take this with a grain of salt because at the end of the day, Jensen has billions of dollars riding on AI. So of course, he's going to say it's the best invention since the wheel. And that doesn't necessarily mean that he's wrong, but that we should listen carefully. A lot of creators use that quote from Jensen to fear monger and rake in the views, but 99% of the time it's being taken up context. What Jensen actually meant by that and what he said later on word for word was that AI isn't there to replace you, but rather to enhance your current job. And the real threat to developers and programmers actually isn't AI itself, but it's the people who learn how to use AI and leave the others behind. You're not gonna lose your job to AI. You're going to lose your job to somebody who uses AI. And that being said, you might be asking yourself, well, what does the future of coding look like? And fortunately, history has already given us the blueprint. You see, this happens time and time again. Way back in 1831, the mechanical reaper was invented and farmers hated it. Why, you might ask? Well, because one man with a reaper could do what five men could do with a scythe. And I hope that's starting to sound familiar. So the real question is, just like the developers, what exactly happened to those farmers that were displaced by the reaper? But instead, here's what actually happened to those farmers. Food production skyrocketed, prices dropped, and those farming jobs didn't disappear. Instead, they evolved. You see, farms grew bigger, and instead of firing their workers, they trained them to use the new reaper. And I know we're thinking, well, many farms couldn't grow, and that's true many businesses won't be able to compete with those that are implementing AI. But what happened to those farms that couldn't grow? Well, their workers were, were bought out by the farms that implemented the Reaper. Think same pay, but easier work. That being said, the select farmers that refused to upskill and did not learn how to use the Reaper were in fact left without a job, as you would expect. How does this apply to us? Well, it's the same thing. The developers who choose not to work with AI, they're going to lose out to the ones that do. Not because AI took their job, but because someone better with AI did. So that being said, should you still learn to code in 2025? Absolutely. Coding isn't going anywhere, just like farming hasn't gone anywhere. It's the backbone of robotics and automation. But don't be the farmer who refused to learn how to use the Reaper. If you are planning on learning how to code in 2025, then you also need to do it with AI. And that being said, fundamentals will always matter. Think data structures, problem solving, logic, and creativity. Those aren't going out of style anytime soon, just like they have been for the past thousand years. But once you have that foundation established, you absolutely need to build on top of it with the tools that will keep you competitive. And if you don't have those strong foundations and are looking to build them while at the same time building projects that you can then showcase on your resume, then check out the Codecrafters link in the description. And just remember that AI isn't here to replace you. It's here to make your job more productive. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Laz and I'll see you in the next one.